Good morning, and welcome to the second year of Slashin. Thank you so much. Are we buzzing with energy, excitement, or is it caffeine and nicotine? For me, it is energy and a glass of mango juice. Um, what a fantastic year it has been. Feels like just yesterday that we had our first year of Slashin. Since then, just so much. Just so much technology got created. And of course, I'm leaving aside uh, the news that came out last evening. Uh, that's one aspect of the awesomeness. But uh, just so much creation happened. Last year, we had the largest volume of open source contributions that we've done till date. And I'll talk a little bit about that. We've had the largest amount of learnings that we've gathered till date across the board, and of course, maximum amount of technology creation that Flipkart has witnessed yet. And none of that would have been possible if the technology ecosystem was a closed one. We as engineers, we've learned from successes and failures of other engineers, other technologists. Be it an engineer in the Bay Area, putting out a new framework, or an engineer in China putting out a new machine learning technique, or an engineer in Bangalore improving the performance of Hadoop by one and a half times. We have gained by the work of all of these engineers. And that's precisely what Slashin is about. It is our humble attempt at trying to give back to the same community that we learn from. Like I said, last year, we've worked on some very meaningful, very impactful techniques. We've created some great new frameworks. We've, we've put out some fantastic new concepts. And those are things that we want to share with the rest of the world. While on a very continuous basis, this sharing goes on, we thought slash in, an event like slash in is a fantastic way of putting it out in a very condensed, in a very compact fashion, right? I'll come to the theme of this year's slash in a little later. Let me start off by talking about an aspect of community contribution that I mentioned, open sourcing. Last year, we've done the largest amount of open source contributions till date. We open sourced Phantom, which is our distributed uh, fault isolation proxy behind which all of our services run. At Flipkart, we run at massive amounts of scale, and any engineer involved in any distributed system would realize that systems fail, right? And if you don't have a proactive mechanism of handling failure, you know, by the time you are reacting to an alert, your whole website is down. Your whole systems are down. That's where Phantom comes into picture. So that's uh, a piece of code that we open sourced. It has saved us a lot of heartache. Uh, many a times, whenever, you know, when our systems in the backends fail, our customers are not impacted because of Phantom. So that's one piece of... Uh, code that we open sourced. We open sourced HostDB, which is our, uh, which is a data center management uh, product that we created, uh, which has allowed us to manage technology infrastructure at the scale that we do. And these are just two of the examples of a whole bunch of contributions that we've done till date. Right now, I want to pledge our commitment to a whole bunch of additional open sourcing work that we'll do this year. And I want to talk about some of those. This year, we'll be open sourcing RESTbus, which happens to be the base of all of our supply chain ecosystem. All of our supply chain ecosystems are built as services which are orchestrated by this underlying framework that we call as, Rest, uh, as RESTbus. The nature of the technology is not something unique to supply chain. This is something that can be useful in, in building out any service, uh, you know, any ecosystem where you need services participating in 
a service wide um, service wide orchestration in an asynchronous um, transactional fashion that's what that's what resbus is about and we believe it can be useful in a whole bunch of domains that's one piece of code that will be open sourcing sometime by the end of q2 uh, we'll be also open sourcing a piece of work that we are doing right now which is about change propagation as we are scaling out to multiple data centers uh, how do we ensure that our customers are able to attach to any of these data centers and have a seamless experience so if any of the data centers goes down we automatically switch over all of the context of the user to another data center that's a piece of uh, framework that we are developing right now and that's something that we will be open sourcing as well that's our pledge to the community we'll also be open sourcing a whole bunch of uh, sdks that we are building out on the mobile front mobile happens to be a very key focus area for us and the amount of investment that we are doing in it is also huge and particularly in the indian ecosystem the in the indian internet ecosystem mobile will play a very large role i'm talking about the overall internet ecosystem not just uh, uh, the uh, the e-commerce world so we believe that by open sourcing these sdks will actually be helping uh, a very large amount of community so these are some of the promises that i want to make to you coming to the point of the theme of uh, this this year's lesson intelligence look at the world around us look at all of the various systems um how many of you guys are familiar with um, google now i think yeah fair bunch right almost all of you do you are you able to associate with the word intelligence when i when i talk about machine intelligence systemic intelligence right in the context of google now at least you are able to relate to that right again nicotine do i hear nicotine speaking guys you you intuitively understand what i talk about when i talk about systemic intelligence right it's about taking real time real time decisions being taken by the system real time problem solving being done by the systems it's not just about automating anymore that expressing a bunch of rules and my system goes ahead and executes those rules that era is past we are way past uh, that era now right we are getting into an era where in every single domain beat our mobile phone right it understands us it learns our behavior and tries to customize there are a whole bunch of apps which try to act as a personal assistant right by learning your behavior in e-commerce world we end up doing the same thing be it personalization deep personalization for the customers be it pricing be it supply chain uh, orchestration being done in real time be it promise that we make to the customers all of these things we realize that systemic intelligence is the way to go and we have made uh, some very good strides in that direction that's the reason why we wanted to share that this out with you so two reasons essentially uh, why we kept uh, this theme of intelligence at scale one being that we've done a fair amount of work in this area and we wanted to share that out with all of you second is that we believe that this concept these constructs are useful not just in an e-commerce world they are uh, very generically useful in fact that's precisely the reason why if you look at the speaker list you would find a very diverse set of uh, you know uh, uh, speakers bringing in a very diverse set of backgrounds the idea being that so say for example we've got uh, ramesh talking about how machine intelligence helps in solving genomics related problems right how we have um, in the search space we've got we we've, we've got people talking about how do we talk uh, you know how do we use machine intelligence to do semantic search understanding the intent behind the query and not just doing a blind search right so it's a very diverse set of applications that machine intelligence can have and that's the reason why we chose this subject in fact that's precisely the reason why even in terms of the audience set we've kept it 
more open than what we had the last time around. Uh, a lot more external participants are there. How many of you are uh, you know, external invitees? Can you please raise your hands? Wow, thank you so much. I'm really hoping that you benefit a lot uh, from this event. Um, it's, it's a give and take mechanism. We would expect you to help us uh, be better at our technology as well. So please feel completely free to ask, you know, to debate the techniques that we'll be sharing out with you guys. Uh, it will help us refine our thought process. That's precisely what the motto of Slashen is about. It's about technologists getting together and brainstorming and coming up, everyone leaving with, uh, with something better than what they had come with. So with that, uh, let, me, uh, let me declare this uh, event open. And uh, yeah, let me invite Sachin to talk about e-commerce.